Good evening. I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com, and I want to talk about not just one, but two cybersecurity stocks today. First of all, Fortinet. Um, this is a stock that IBD is giving you another buy point on this. You know, the stock broke out, kind of hard to trade this because it broke out on, on earnings, right? So the stock gaps up and keeps going. But believe it or not, another buy point is when or if the stock breaks out above here. It's an aggressive one because the stock's already run so much. However, you know, you have to think about it for a minute. Um, if the stocks run all the way here from 80 bucks up to 105 and it's not pulling back, that means that there's some real demand for the stock here. And so you got the weak hands that are taking profits. Shoot, if I owned it, I'd be weak. I'd be taking profits um, happily. But the stock is still being propped up. You know, since this last low here last Tuesday, um, it hasn't been undercut. Each day, the stock's held right around uh, 103. So this is a stock that I think you definitely want to keep a, a price alert on at about uh, 106, uh, 106.50, something like that. And if the stock runs up there, then you go ahead and, and buy that stock and then keep a fairly tight stop on it. Because after the stock has been extended this much, I mean, just think about it. Stock's been extended this much breaks out to the upside, you buy it. You certainly don't expect the stock to do this. It's just that's not the that's not what stocks do. On this kind of uh, this kind of ceiling here, um, you have to expect the stock that once it breaks out, it will continue to go. That enables you to buy the breakout and then keep a fairly snug stop so that you cut your risk. But here's another way to cut risk. Color me crazy, but I like CyberArk a little bit better. Um, it's not the perfect setup. Uh, my buddy Mark Minervini would shake his head right now, uh, but that's okay. Uh, guy's got to do what a guy's got to do. I like the way this thing is setting up. It's broken out of a volatility squeeze. 50-day um, moving averages below the 200, which really isn't what we want to see. But what we do want to see is this series of high, low, higher high, higher low, and now we get a little squeeze right here. So I would, this is how I would trade this stock. If it pops up above 120, you're in. And you also keep a stop a little bit below 115. So that's 5%, a little more than 5% risk on the downside. Um, software industry is really cooking. CyberArk had a heck of a move down. I mean, this thing was a, you know, lost a third of its market cap and now it's rebuilding. It's drifted back to a solid buy point. Um, it would be nice if it tightened up a bit more, but beggars can't be choosers. And I guess in this case, I'm a beggar. So, you know, you're looking for this thing to pop up, keep a tight stop here and there's your trade. Okay, um, that's it. By the way, speaking of trades, this week, on either Wednesday or Thursday, I'm going to be trading the open with members and I want you to be there. We'll let you know tomorrow when it is. But my goal when I trade live in the morning is for members that are trading with me to make money. I want you to make money. So that's really what I'm going to be looking at. We usually do, not always, it's not guaranteed, uh, but typically we can find something um, to beat up on a little bit. So we'll be looking to do that uh, this Wednesday or Thursday. So just watch your email uh, for that notice. And as long as you're even a trial member, you can show up for that.